from campus to catwalks to covers and now the corporate jungle. 23-year-old Farah Liza Tan has moved seamlessly from one challenge to another. After clinching the Miss Singapore World Crown last year and graduating in April, Farah has settled into a new corporate role. I've been working at Almara Hotels and Resorts as a marketing comms executive for two, about two and a half months, close to three months now. And yeah, it's been, I mean, in the hotel line, um, I work not five day week, I mean, alternate Saturdays I work as well. So I do PR related work, branding, and it's um, for Amara Hotels and Resorts, there are two properties, basically one um, located at Tanjong Paga and the other one is Amara Sanctuary Resorts and Toza. So I'm busy shuttling back and forth, basically doing the marketing for both properties. Despite the recession, Farah had a relatively easy time finding a job. I, I have to admit that I was anxious and worried that I wouldn't secure a job. So, in fact, I started my job search quite late also. I started about March, April, whereas some of my peers actually, they started way in advance. And they were so shocked that I actually left it quite last minute. They were like, huh, aren't you worried or not? Like, you're not going to get a job after you finish your exams and all that. What are you going to do? So... That kind of sparked my worries. I applied for Ministry of Foreign Affairs as well. But then I got I applied for Amara as well. Then after that I thought like, okay, I think the hospitality industry with the IR coming up and the hospitality industry booming tourism and all that. So that's why I went ahead with Amara when I got the offers. But one could say Farah is every employer's dream. The communication studies graduate made it into the Dean's List every year. But she's no nerd. She took part in Miss Singapore World Pageant in her third year in university on a whim and then went on to win it. Yeah, that title does help a little in terms of exposure and also because I travelled in, in South Africa and all that. So, so yeah, it kind of helped a little. But of course, academic qualifications as well boosted my chances in terms of getting employed faster. So, so yeah, I think it's a balance of both, I mean, yeah. And also, of course, attitude-wise, personality, that's, that's what potential employers see as well in terms of getting a job, yeah, so. Do you put it in your resume, actually? In my resume? No! <laughs> I don't find it appropriate. But um, it's sort of like I extracurricular know, activity. I know, I know. Actually, it is a job, you know, Miss Singapore. Yeah, it's I mean, not just it's setting pretty. Yeah, a lot of things to do, right? So why yeah, don't you put it in your resume? And all that? Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I should, yeah. Farah may be a dream employee, but she wasn't always at the top of the game. My PSRE results, on the day when I received my results, I was mortified and I showed it to my mom and then she, her, the look on her face was just pure utter disappointment and that was like a slap on my face. So what changed and how did she manage to do all that she has done?